Hi, I'm CJ Altmerg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. We got the white sandy beaches here in Colorado this morning. Uh, it's a little frosty, but if you're a customer that's looking for an extra wide, extra tall trailer, maybe you got some big horses, or maybe you just want that extra size of a trailer, we have one right here. So this is a new 2021 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. So when we talk about the size of this, this trailer is 7'7 seven, seven tall, it is 7'6 wide, and then we're 19 foot on the floor. And we've done some cool things, and I'll talk about that when we get to the stall area a little bit on some more dimensions for you. Uh, but let's take a look at this trailer. Up here underneath the gooseneck, we've just got your standard single leg manual crank jack. Cimarron also gives you a spare aluminum wheel, which some manufacturers will put four aluminums on the ground, and then they'll give you a steel as your spare. But Cimarron goes ahead and gives you five aluminum wheels. That's standard on every model. Obviously, if you get into a triple axle, you're gonna have three on the ground, and then your seventh as the spare. One cool thing that they've done is, is this is your, your handle for your manual crank jack, but they've gone in and they've given you a lug wrench, lug wrench as well. So you always have this on hand. That way you can change some tires if need be and you've got that nice and handy. You don't have to go looking or digging out that four way. As we look at the tack room on this, the very first thing I want you to notice is this nice big 42 inch wide door. We like to upgrade to this, uh, this opening of this door right here from their standard uh, 36 inches. And the main reason why is we understand that a lot of the customers that are gonna be pulling this trailer, you know, potentially are, you know, more than likely are showing big warm bloods. And the warm blood market likes to carry a lot of big totes, you know, big items, bulky items that they wanna store in this front tack room. So it's really nice to have this big opening. That way you can get in and out of this trailer with those items. And then also this step here. So it makes it really nice and easy getting in and out. Again, when you're carrying things, your arms are full. It's just a lot nicer than having to go from this tack room clear down to the, to the ground. It, that's a pretty big step there. Up here in the gooseneck area, over more towards passenger side, off the ceiling there, you'll notice a clothes rod. You know, that clothes rod is, I mean, that's about four foot right there, maybe a touch longer. That's a good amount of clothes that you can hang there. Again, if you're going to show or needing to carry some extra clothes with you, you can do that. On the gooseneck drop wall, you've got an 18 inch boot box. This is really handy for all those little smaller miscellaneous items. You don't want them rolling around in the tack room. Good place to store those. But then also it's a nice step for you if you do have to jump into that gooseneck area there. We went ahead and put a set of hooks in here and carpet behind them. And then you've got a pass-through door that goes into the stall area. That's a 22 inch wide pass-through door. Over here in the corner, we went ahead and put you a location for the saddle rack post. This trailer is equipped with a folding rear tack that we'll show you here in a minute. But if you did want to move that saddle rack up front here, you can. So that location is already there for you. We've also got a brush tray on the door, again, for maybe some smaller miscellaneous items. As we look here on passenger side of this trailer, you've got three big bus windows. Cimarron really likes to incorporate these bigger bus windows. That way we can get a lot of airflow through this trailer. I'll show you a couple other things when we get inside on, on that. There's your aluminum standard wheels. You'll notice the green tab, it's a little frosted right now, um, but these are nitrogen filled tires. They're also balanced. 
So that nitrogen is not going to allow PSI levels to fluctuate drastically, different temperature changes, um, potentially causing you a blowout or anything like that. You can put air to these. That's kind of a misconception. A lot of people think that just because these are nitrogen filled the way they are now, is you can't put nit or you can't put air in these tires if you have something low, maybe a slow leak. Um, but yes, you can put air to these. It's perfectly fine. Uh, if if you do have a slow leak or something. You get to where you need to take the tire off go get it patched more than likely that that tire facility will actually be able to go in and nitrogen fill it back for you when they get that taken care of so what we did is we did dual independent doors on the back of this trailer here these are 50 50 doors there's a look at that folding rear tack that i was telling you about so if we want to, we can remove that post right there with the three saddle racks and a couple blanket poles, and we can move that up front. Or if you wanted to, for some reason, add a second post with some additional storage, we can do that. Our parts department can get it for you, and it's really, really, really easy for us to install for you. Um, we put some hooks over here on the driver's side rear door. If you want to, when you do put this up front, you can use this area for maybe some additional storage, some hay, some shavings, some feed, some buckets, anything like that. Or you can collapse this down and it'll go up against the wall. Now, as we get into the stall area, I kind of mentioned early on that, you know, this was an extra tall, extra wide trailer. And we did some things back here as well. So typically our drop windows or our stall width is 39 inches. Now on this trailer, we understand that more than likely you're gonna have bigger horses. Obviously we got to use some additional height, but we wanted to give you some additional width as well. So we actually went in and added three inches per stall, making these 42 inch wide. So again, can accommodate a lot larger horse. We put pads on the, on the dividers. Stud divider at number one. There is an escape door, so if you wanted to use that first stall for some additional storage and you're not hauling three head, you can do that. But one thing that Cimarron does is, you know, everything is has got the horse in mind and, and safety of the horse. You know, these dividers, everything has nice radius, um, not so much 90 degree edges or points to anything. Everything's nice and smooth. On the, on the kick wall over here, you know, nice flush mount paddle latches for slam latches, nothing protruding out, nothing's gonna hurt a horse. Again, horse safety is number one. It is a horse trailer. Don't forget horse comes first. But, you know, this is a nice aluminum piece here that's powder coated. This cast piece is powder coated. And then you have this heavy duty UHMW paddle latch itself. They're really, really easy to shut and to open so a lot safer for you and the horse loading and unloading and then we're not having that metal to metal contact which is going to create rattles make a lot of noise so we've kind of hit on kind of how this trailer is optioned uh, but i want to kind of talk to you about how it's constructed so what i'm i'm standing on the industry's best flooring on the market these are 12 inch deck boards they interlock double tongue and groove top and bottom so this trailer comes together almost like Legos and it gains strength as it gets built. But the centers on this are every four inches apart. So think of hoof size of a horse, wherever they're standing on this floor, they're standing on a support beam. You know, that, that floor, as long as you take care of it over its life, this trailer will last you forever. I mean, it really will. Upright posts are more of a square, so they're really, really strong. Um, we always use the example that the the bows that they use on the roof is what the competitors use on their upright post to where Cimarron uses the same amount of aluminum but it's more of a square and it's like a pencil it's one fluid motion on a long on a long stick of that to where on that you know it kind of wobbles like a noodle so then the question is well why'd they put that on the roof well we put that on the roof because we have the insulated roof which is standard on every single Cimarron it's a half inch thick it's a honeycomb design it's reinforced it is extremely extremely strong i can walk on it i can jump on it won't dent the roof so we don't need quite that much strength on those roof bows 
uh, that you would see on some other trailers, especially with an aluminum sheeted roof. Now, talking about that, obviously today it's not as big of a concern. Um, from a heat standpoint, when you're traveling in the summertime, that insulated roof will keep your stallery about about 20% cooler than that aluminum sheeted roof. So we create a lot of airflow through here. You have the insulated roof, it's gonna keep your animals nice and comfortable in transit. A Couple more things I'll hit on. You have two-way roof vents. So again, creating a lot more airflow for you through here. And then you have three LED lights, one over each stall. There is lighting up in the tack room. There's an additional light over this folding rear tack because we understand that you know we're not going to get that light to shine through from the stall area so we wanted to put one over there as well and then there's the led load lights around this trailer as well they're all individually switched which is really nice so you can turn one side on the back on turn them all on stall lights anything like that a little covered in snow but there's one of those 16 inch awning lights right there they're led they put out a lot of light they don't draw a lot of power which you know everything's gone pretty much led in today's world and then here's a good view of the drop windows that cimarron manufactures themselves they're not a prefab window they're not lightweight they're not really wobbly or wiggly in your hand when you grab them these are big and stout these are heavy heavy duty i can shake the entire trailer with these these are these are built and they're built to last we understand that you're going to use these every time you use this trailer so we want them to hold up you have the jail bars as well those do drop down I'm going to stop somewhere fueling up I want to give them some water anything like that you can do that shut them up a nice solid seal to them they do a really good job on the weather stripping the door the frame of the window the front the actual frame itself and again you can kind of just barely see it's actually catching a lot of the snow today um, but there's a drip rail that they've gone in and added to them as well so we're not having that moisture when that melts it's not going to come down on top of that window go around that and almost freeze it up to where we can't open it it's going to allow that when it melts to get off and away from that window so that's something that Cimarron's added here and then there's your escape door at number one again that's pretty nice from the standpoint of you can haul some additional items in there if you're not hauling three head and you can access it as you're as you're in transit you know stop at a gas station or anything like that The one last thing I want to talk about is, is gooseneck drop wall. So the drop wall, technically it's from right about here because there's, there's about a six inch piece that comes across here, but that's where your gooseneck drop wall starts and goes to the bottom of the trailer here. So the industry standard over the last 15 years or so has been 50 inches. But what happens is, is the trucks over time get taller and taller. That's what kind of happened in early 2000s. That used to be 47 inches. Well, trucks got taller. So the industry changed, went to 50 inches. Well, 50 is still the industry standard. And we know for a fact that the new GMs, the new Dodges, the new Fords are all taller. So what we're having is, is we're having trailers running uphill. So we have bed clearance or there's hardly any bed clearance and the trailer is running level, but then you have the potential of banging up your bed. So on what we've done on our Cimarron's here is we've gone in and made that 53 inches. And the reason why is, so again, we can adjust the coupler on this trailer. We can make this trailer run on both of those axles evenly, how they should be, and get you plenty of bed clearance. Now, especially on this trailer here, since it's seven, seven tall, you know, three inches really isn't eating in that gooseneck at all. But that is a really nice thing because, you know, the again, if you buy this trailer and you take care of it, this trailer could last you a long time. Well, how many trucks are you gonna turn over in that time? to where you're set up and you're ready to go. Because we really don't see a big change coming on, on the height of those beds on these trucks. So if you're interested in this trailer, we also have this in a four horse sitting here today as well. But on this one, I'll give you the stock number on it. Again, it's a 2021 Cimarron North Star, three horse gooseneck, extra tall, extra wide. Stock number is 5N201018.
So if you're interested in it, maybe the four horse, maybe some other trailers that we're looking at, just maybe don't need the extra height and width. Um, we've got standard trailers as well. We've got straight loads. Obviously, we've got a little bit of everything and a lot of trailers on order too that we can take a look at or we can work with you on a custom build. That's not a problem at all. We'll be happy to help you through that process. Give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. 303-684-3400. Stay warm. Thank you.